Half Lives RC. This is the build, or assembly really, of the 80mm T7A um, by XY sent to me by Banana Hobby. Banana Hobby, thank you for taking, uh, what was it, 400 some odd dollars of my money, <laughs> whatever it was. And uh, we're going to put it together now. It's going to be a pretty simple build. We're going to start with the elevators in the rear, or vertical stabilizers. Okay. You're going to take, you're going to, when you get done, you've only got two types of screws. You got uh, 10 millimeter, and I think it's, uh, I think it's eight millimeter uh, of these screws here. Okay. Long and short. Okay. I think these are six millimeter. Ten. But anyways, regardless, um, you're going to have one extra of each when all is said and done. You're going to take two of the shorter screws. Two millimeter hex drive is all that's needed to install this plane. I will not, however, be hooking up these with the servos um, linkages until I do the radio setup because that I want to make sure they're centered first. You're going to obviously put this side down. Should just slide right in there. It's supposed to just slide right in there. Sorry, I'm got my head in your face. All right, that just you just kind of have to, yeah, just kind of have to manhandle that in there. Okay, and then well, shoot, I didn't show you that, did I? On the on the shaft that I just slid in there, there was a flat spot. Now that should line up perfectly with where that screw goes. And it sits in that channel on that shaft. I don't even feel any resistance. Yeah, okay. So that shouldn't be able to, yeah, I, now I can feel it engage on it, so I can't pull that out. You're going to have, like I say, you're going to have one of these smaller screws left over. Okay. This red paint is awesome. Yeah, I can hear it. That's where we're rubbing against it. All right, now we're going to flip them all over. This is an incredibly simple, simple build. We're going to take our rudders now they go servo side in the T7A on the out and there's a little quick connect that your servo lead is going to hook into so you're going to line that up it only fits in one way okay and then on this side you're going to take one of the longer of the screws sorry that's a battery being done the battery I'm going to use for this going to go in the side here, so if it's the only hole here, if I can get the line up right, there it is, come on, has a very obvious bottoming out point. See that hole right there? Right there. Okay. You got all these long screws. It's got a very odd, that's a battery that's done, that's that beeping sound. 
Turn your model over. Okay. And then you've got, let me turn it where you see it. You got two holes here and here. This is where you're going to feed the other same same length, the longer screws down in there. And this is to attach the other side of the, the other at the end of the rudder down there. Go ahead and drop this one in to free up that hand. Try to support it with the, with the underside of your hand. In this case, I want to actually support it with the, the rudder. It has very obvious bite now. Okay, that's in there. I'll support the rudder down this end. Very obvious bite. now you're going to take your wings again they have the quick connects okay spars already installed I'm wondering if this spar huh they don't fit together I wonder if that's just a fucking I'm gonna put the longer one in That's this there again has a quick connect so you don't have to worry about it plugs in right there. Okay. Take your long screws. One goes here. screw goes on this side here. It has a very obvious bite to it. An obvious body being out point. Okay. Turn that around. Grab our other wing half. And you know what I want to do real quick, remember that's going to line up right there. Okay. Yes, yes, I know battery, you're done. Wingtip missiles here. Okay. Drop tank that was here. And these are all the same, so you can put them whichever way you want. These push in. Oh, and the CG is marked right here in front of this missile pilot. That's kind of cool.
And that, folks, is the very basic build or assembly of the XFLY 80mm T7A Red Hawk. Let's verify real quick. It only shows stall about the wing spar into the slot of the fuselage. Install two wing halves onto the fuselage through the wing spar. As shown, please make sure the servo connectors are in alignment with each other. Do not push too hard in case the connector might be damaged. Use included screws to screw on the main wing. Do not over tighten the screws. Okay. And then in the diagram of parts, it only shows the one wing spar. So someone who was putting mine in there didn't add an extra wing spar. So I don't know. All right. No decals to install other than a whole lot of these do not step and they're stickers, okay? I am not going to take the time to put on all these do not no steps. I'm sorry, not going to do it. <laughs> this is the receiver that I'll be installing, a 7 channel Lemon RX. Because this plane does have thrust reverse, you'll have to, um, there's this wooden tray right here. Okay, this is a wooden tray, and you'll notice a little yellow hoop wire. You fish it, you take this wooden tray out, and you keep seeing it. It runs along the fuselage, and it runs along with the signal wire for the throttle, and then you peel back this piece of hard white tape here, and you'll see this little pigtail off by itself. That is thrust reverse. Okay, so I'll be that's you'll need a seven channel. Otherwise. Now you could get with a six channel, but you're not going to be able to set up flapperons, and this plane is tailor made for flapperons. So what you'll do for a six channel, you'll have of course throttle, aileron, one aileron, rudder, one elevator. Your other aileron will go into your flap channel, or is channel uh, whatever channel you want, uh, channel six on the uh, on the spectrum, and then of course channel five is your landing gear. And then the seventh channel is for your thrust reverse. So that's why you'll need seven channels. Now, if you don't want to use flapperons, but you want to use thrust reverse, you will plug that thrust reverse cable into the top part of the receiver where you normally plug in your flaps, since you don't actually have flaps. And you'd have to use the included Y that they have for the ailerons to just plug them into traditional ailerons. So entirely up to you. This plane does do a little bit of a high alpha, so you can kind of land her like that a little bit, which will slow her down, so you may not need to use flapperons. So it's entirely how well you are. This plane is not completely a high alpha like, say, an F-22 is, but this plane does do a little bit of high alpha, so that does slow it down. So, All right, well, folks, we did, we did hook up the elevators because I don't do that until I do the radio setup, which will be the next video. All right, well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, Banana, Banana Hobby, thank you for taking 400 some odd dollars of my money for the uh, T7A 80mm. All right, we'll do a radio setup, uh, a, a, a uh, radio rates and CG uh, setup video next, and then the fourth video will be the maiden. All right, y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you, and don't forget to family and friends.